It was like an improbable dream. And even now, while I'm here, it still feels like one. While the world is closing itself again amidst the world pandemic, I embark on a trip to the East Africa. Let's explore local people, culture, and especially what people seek here for. The stunning nature. I am Lex Universe, and this is Kenya, in November 2020. Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So today we're taking a car with our favorite driver, Jennifer, and we are going to the town, I guess, of Nanuki, which is located directly under the mountain Kenya, which is like the second largest mountain in Africa, the largest mountain in Kenya. I'm not sure if you will see it, if I should take some experience from the Kilimanjaro, then probably not. But the fun thing about this place is it's located directly on the equator and we brought some Czech beer and I will fulfill one of my dreams to have a beer on the equator and I will take you with me. Let's go! Nairobi before dawn. Charming, right? So our driver is already half an hour late. But I, but I guess that's something that you have to kind of be okay with when you're in Africa. Because punctuality is not their strong side. Hopefully that will be the only problem of today. Alright, so, so far it looks that the trip will be twice as expensive as I expected, but hopefully it will be still worth it, like I said, one of my dreams. The drive takes about 3 hours, but can take up a little bit longer if you count in traffic, which is insane in Nairobi in the morning, so better go early. Other child dream is fulfilled. <laughs> I'm having a beer at the equator. Directly. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at so his beer. So we are at zero latitude, and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. It's good. Okay. 20 meters no. Mm -hmm. In the sound, 20 meters is anti-doctors. Okay. <laughs> but 0.30 is no facing stop. So it's not more than 20 meters. Then some 20 meters and then finish up. Okay. Hello, Did you get it? Now let's address one thing. 
What this gentleman is trying to show us is how differently water spins in each hemisphere and how it stays still on the equator. This is apparently caused by the so-called Coriolis force. Well, while the Coriolis force really exists and is responsible actually for different spins of hurricanes on the planetary scale, it has apparently next to no effect on such a small scale. I'm not very good at physics, so I'm not able to determine it that way. But, well, it's happening, so it's kind of hard to disprove that, right? Well, it's like the classic says, it has to be possible, it's happening. <laughs> But right. on the equator, this will just go straight down. Mm -hmm. No right. spirals on the equator. Uh -huh. Okay. And also, this means further you move to the north, mm -hmm. the faster it goes. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> but first 20 meters, the rotation is very slow. Mm -hmm. Like on the south. Magic. Yeah, I push like what well, seen off clockwise. This is the caspa. This side not very windy. You can see the spiders. Yes. Right. And this counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. can blow the indicators different mm. ways mm -hmm. but not clockwise or anti-clockwise I try to push like I've seen north clockwise mm -hmm. it stops if you see down there straight <laughs> wow. that's what it's And now let's get lunch in this cool tree restaurant. So this it's one of the coolest restaurants I've ever been to. See? So in case you are a fish person, uh, they actually have fresh fish here in the in the tanks in the tanks down below. Cool, right? But just the feeling that you are in the tree that's been made into a restaurant, that's cool. All right, so that was the equator. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was very cool, at least for me. A little bit more expensive than I expected, but you can say that about everything in this country. Um, so, in case you uh, are interested in any kind of a trip or you want to have a tour of Nairobi, I will leave you the contact for our driver Jennifer in the description below. You can contact her on WhatsApp. I'm sure she will 
be very happy to give you a tour of the city or take you anywhere else. And if you enjoyed this video, as I hope you did, as I hope you had, uh, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media, check out the previous videos in the Kenya series, or basically any of the other videos in my channel. And see you in the next video. We're going to Mombasa. Have a beautiful day.